across for McGuire. McGuire takes the shot, tipped in front. That's going to be stopped by Gabe Grattan as he hangs on there. Ahead looking for Cormier. It's going to be picked up by Tapper, cutting middle. To Huck, a shot stopped. Rebound, Wilson blockered away by Grattan. Hansen wins it back. Feenan across, one-timer. LeDrew stopped by Green as he tracks down the rebound in front. 4-1-3 uh, and three are the Bulldogs against the Oilers this season. Off the draw, a shot there by McIntosh. He scores. Dakota McIntosh right off the draw. Picks up the puck at the top of the circle and wires one by Christian Green to open up the scoring here in Oak Tokes. It is 1-0 Bulldogs. Sends it back to the point for Tanner Willock. Across for James Johnson. Centering there, Luke Dolan in front. He scores. Luke Dolan does the dirty work in front, and he doubles this lead for the Bulldogs, making it 2 nothing. just about 10 minutes into this first period. He'll skate this one out to center into the offensive zone. Rink-wide pass looking for Turner in front. That was knocked into the net as Jagger Tapper scores. A backhander, penalty killer of the Bulldogs. Tapper, that one's just steered his side of the net, deflected in front. Gabe Grant came sliding all the way across to keep that one out. It's going here. Behind the net, Spack looking for Gorley. A shot denied in front of the net. Gorley scores. Held up along the wall, now Tapper with possession, has Huck cutting towards the front. It's in front, here's Wilson, a shot, he scores. Wilson the trailer on that play. A nice find for the Oilers as Wilson gains the lead at 3-2. Up the wall, picked off by Hanson, Hanson in front. DuPont could have tipped that one. Tanner Will keeps this one in, down low behind the net, DuPont for Hanson, he scores! As Newman couldn't Pull the trigger there, and then he found Hansen all alone, and what do you know, the goals come pretty quick in succession. This game's all tied up again, this time at threes. Center for Roland across the blue line, dropping it for Silverberg, a shot, that one's blocked by Feenan. Good work to get in the way of that one. Newman, back the other way for the Bulldogs, up the left side, Newman, a shot steered aside by Green. Puck goes to the corner. As he sends it for Dimitriadis across for McIntosh. A shot stopped, rebound. Adrian just sends it wide of the net. That one will trickle across the crease and gets cleared out by the Oilers as Adrian almost had his first as a Bulldog there. Huck circling back to the point. Has Hansen on him. He drops it off for Denies. At the blue line, sends it in front. He scores! A seeing eye shot. Looking for an option here, he'll circle back to the point. Dimitriadis finds a lane, stopped by Green. He'll drop it off for Tanner Willick, a shot, that one's off the toe of Green. Oh, Jolly will pick this one up. Here's Huck, working one-on-one -on, -one on LeDrew. In front, McNeil, stopped by Grant, and they score! Grant is immediately saying he was pushed there. As we'll see what happens. I imagine the referee is going to discuss this one as Gabe Granton immediately not happy with that one. Having this one's going to be waved off by the referee here. Had it knocked away by Hunter Brown. Brown across for McIntosh. In front, Dimitriadis couldn't pull the trigger. Silverberg, last few seconds across. One-timer Huck stopped by Maxfield. It's to Ross, left side for McIntosh across the blue line. McIntosh driving in front, steered aside by Green. Here's Newman. He comes away with it. Driving behind the net. Wrap around. Loose puck will go to the corner as he's denied by Green. McGuire. A shot there is blocked away by Maxfield. In front, they score. McNeil comes away with the loose puck. Up. Here could be numbers for the Oilers. Spack with Gorley. Across for Gorley. Stopped by Maxfield as he keeps it out of the net. Huck and Tanner Willick in front of the net. Matt denied by Maxfield. The offensive zone looking for an option. A shot there stopped by Maxfield as he is run over. There's the call by the back official. Finally, the Bulldogs are going to get a power play in this game. And then a second penalty there as Roland gets teed up by the referee. And he's out of this game. 
quickly. Here's Hunter Brown back into the offensive zone. Drops it off Ross. One-timer off the skate of McGuire. Stayed out of the net. Jolly left side quickly to Cormier. Looking in front. Trickles just wide. Jolly sends it in front. Stop by Green. The point. Aaron Brown across for Dolan. A shot there. Trickles and goes wide of the net. And Green tracks that one down to hang on for the whistle. 43 to go. Tanner Willick left side for Adrian. Sends it towards the net, skips in front, they score! Alexander Dimitriadis picks up the rebound and scores for the Bulldogs to bring them back within one. Looking back at the point, Tanner Willett collects. Down low for Ross, he lets it go behind the net for Dolan, looking in front for Jolly, denied! Huxley tried to work it out, kept in, and Willick sends it down low to the corner. Ross, tied up by denies. Hunter Brown comes away with it. Up top, Adrian across one-timer. McIntosh, they score! Bulldogs tie this one up with 21 seconds to go. I don't know who scored that one, but it doesn't overly matter as this game is tied up at 5-5. Still 20 seconds to go. Bulldogs got to hang on and force overtime here. Looking at the replay in-house, a one-timer there by McIntosh. Might have been Luke Dolan sending that one home. Now it's a six on five, 20 seconds to go. Game on the line. Bulldogs win it back to their own zone. Aaron Brown racing back for it. Trying to clear this one out. It skips just across the line. Demetrius up ahead for Hunter Brown. All alone, he scores! Hunter Brown to steal this one off as the Bulldogs go up. Six, five with seconds to go. Time expires, the Bulldogs win. They'll have a first round bye in the Alberta division, straight to the semifinals. Well, the day has finally arrived in this extended schedule for the Black Falls Bulldogs as we put an end to the 2023-2024 regular season here tonight as they welcome the Spruce Grove Saints to town. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kale Clark. Welcome to the pregame show and welcoming you into the Eagle Builder Center for Fan Appreciation Night. Now, the last regular season game for most of the players is a bittersweet moment, especially knowing that the regular season has come to an end and all that's left is the postseason and the summer after that to follow. And for the 20 year olds, it's a little bit of a bittersweet moment, more so for them, as they wrap up their junior hockey careers and they get set to play college and university hockey next season. And it's only fitting to welcome our 20 year old and our very own captain, number 14, Cody Willock, to the pregame show as he gets set to uh, wear the Bulldogs uniform one last time in a regular season game and end his junior hockey career on a wing, winning note at that as well. Cody, what are you feeling uh, heading into your last regular season game as a Black Falls Bulldog? And it's a two-parter because I also want you to answer what it's meant to you uh, to be a Black Falls Bulldog in the last couple seasons. Yeah, I think tonight's going to be pretty special uh, for me and the, the rest of the 20-year-olds and the rest of the team as well. Uh, it's going to be a pretty packed barn tonight. And um, for me, I've been pretty lucky to wear the Bulldogs jersey for the last two years, and I've had super... Uh, there are a lot of special opportunities here, and I'm super grateful to everybody that's made it such a special time for me. Well, it's Fan Appreciation Night here at the Eagle Builder Centre, and every year we celebrate the fans at least once. And uh, you've come from Drumheller, where it was a pretty passionate fan base there, and now you've experienced the Black Falls Bulldogs fan base. Uh, just talk a little bit about, uh, you know, what the Black Falls Bulldog fan base is like, and if there's any similarities between uh, Drumheller and Black Falls. Yeah, I mean, the fans have been great here, and that's something that I've really noticed in the last couple of years and growing. I mean, the uh, first year there was little bit of skepticism maybe about the team and nobody was too sure what was going to happen and then that playoff run last year was pretty uh, pretty crazy for our fans and drums fans too so I think that built a, a lot of fan base and uh, just the atmosphere in the rink is unreal and the playoffs coming up but all the fans are so great and it's great to see all the fa smiling faces and cheering fans uh, so it should be good. 
One last personal question for you. You just recently, uh, you know, committed to the RDP Kings of the ACAC Men's Hockey League. And, uh, you know, they're back-to-back -back champs, uh, as, as you know, and you're kind of getting set and you're just moving down the street. You're staying here in central Alberta. Uh, what are you looking forward to most with uh, playing RDP Kings hockey next year? I mean, staying close is something that's pretty important to me. I've kind of found a home here and I'm super happy with that. So staying close is something that I was kind of thinking of doing. So uh, being with the RDP Kings is going to be pretty fun and they're back-to-back -back champs are so going to make look to make it a third. All right, well, let's focus here tonight. Last night, wild finish. Absolutely wild. We were just talking a little bit about it uh, off air, but uh, the Black Falls Bulldogs got it done. They needed just one point against uh, you know either the Okotoks Oilers last night or the Spruce Grove Saints here tonight to get that bye in the first round of the playoffs and secure third place in the division. Now, with that said, you already got that bye. This game... What, I guess, what is the question is, is what is the mindset going into tonight's game? How do you take this game knowing that you already got the bye? Yeah, so last night was a, just a gritty win, and I'm super proud of the boys for pulling that one out. And even just getting those two goals in the last couple of minutes there was uh, pretty awesome. And I'm really proud of the guys for that. But tonight's just a building game, I think, for us. It's uh, something we can take as uh, like, almost like a, not a practice, but just something to build off of uh, into the playoffs and you want to have momentum going into the playoffs and that's what tonight can be for us. Do you also find that, uh, you know, it took the pressure off the guys a little bit and, and as a 20 year old, are you going to be able to maybe take it in a little bit more tonight knowing that uh, you guys are already in the playoffs, you're secured, everything's good to go? Yeah, I think so. And every, at the end of the day, everything uh, is just gearing up for playoffs and at the end of the day, we're just going out and playing a hockey game and hopefully having some fun and getting ready and ramped up for playoffs. What are you looking forward to most, uh, I guess, about the postseason ahead and just, you know, uh, you know, taking in the last few games as, as a Black Falls Bulldog? I think just the last dance here, like just going into the last few games, um, trying to play your best and going into playoffs with a good attitude, good mindset. And it's a pretty special, unique opportunity that we have here this year and it hasn't been exactly how everyone maybe expected it to be this year. But I think it's a good opportunity for a lot of guys and playoffs are always great so it'll be good to play against good teams and meaningful games well we wish you the best of luck Cody in your last regular season game as a Black Falls Bulldog and uh, if you're at the game checks will have your public address announcements here next it is the Black Falls Bulldogs last regular season game taking on the Spruce Grove Saints enjoy the game